Hello, hello, welcome back. And today we're talking about how to live savagely. To live life so you don't have any problems, you know, as you get older, or so you don't have to be on any medications whatsoever. These are lessons I learned from a 100 year old grandma. And I'll tell you the story about this. But these are only two things you need to know for your whole life. These are the two things she lives by. And it has completely served her well because she's past 100 and no problems on no medications, lives like, you know, a 50 year old, honestly, or younger. She has such a young mindset. So if you're new here, my name is Amanda. And here we talk everything about how to up level ourselves and be the best version of, you know, our own dream girl. So we can live our own dream life because why not? So if you're into any of that, definitely, you know, stick around. So for the first lesson, this is one that I just added as a preface before I give her lesson, because it's a strong one. So don't take on other people's problems or sadness. And I know for a lot of people out there, they have no feelings and are super closed off to life. So I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking to you girls who like follow me. And here we we're sensitive, right? We have soft hearts. We can hold space for other people. We are warm, we're sweet, we're loving. And sometimes that can be a negative when we can be too hyper or too overly sensitive, okay? And I know this because I am this way, and if someone else is feeling sad, I will feel the sadness to the degree they are feeling, or even more. Or if one of my family members is angry or in a bad mood or stressed out, I will completely take that on. And I don't know if some of you guys are like that too, but that can be a blessing because you can really help them. Or if you're a coach, you can really you know, be able to help them through it because you know what they're feeling. But when it's not in that type of container, you can really destroy your health. And I know this because I would always, ever since I was little, my stomach would always be nervous and I'd always be like stressed out. And I don't want you guys to live like that, okay? Because that causes so many problems. So don't take on other people's problems or their sadness. If they're sad or they're going through stuff, let them deal with it. They're the only ones who can deal with themselves and you can be their support, but don't take on their stuff, okay? That will kill you. And so this story happened actually in November 22nd of last year. We, Mom and I were eating at this Indian restaurant and Sorry about that. Anyways, we were talking to the waitress and she was super sweet and friendly and she was telling us about life back home and she was giving me some life lessons and the first thing she told me was do not be a victim and she tells that to her kids like they get bullied in at school and stuff so she's put them in martial arts and stuff. She's like I don't want you coming back to me and like with this victim mindset. You go bite them, <laughs> do something to them. And like tell the teachers, like first tell them to hey, stop doing this. If they don't stop, tell the teacher an adult. If the adult doesn't do anything about it, then she said, then you're free. You can fight them, kick them, bite them, do something, but do not be a victim. And I thought this was a really good point because how many people, so many people, pretty much everyone, it feels like, we all have this victim mentality of, oh, my parents do this to me or because so-and-so did this to me, that's why I am the way I am. You know, it's this horrible mindset. Do not be a victim, okay? Go, um, what does Jordan Peters say? Go be a monster and then learn how to control it, okay? So let's go into lesson number one. So her grandma is like over 100 years old, has no problems, on no medication, is as vivacious as ever. And so she asked her, like, how, how do you do this, Grandma? And she gave her these two things. And she lives by these two things, the Grandma does. So they work, okay? Lesson number one, don't give an F. And highlight this, bold it, put it on your mirror. Like, do something. Because I know this is hard for us nice people to remember. But do not give an F. Because stress kills. So lesson number two and feel your emotions, feel them. So if you're angry, hit a pillow. If you're sad, cry. 
If you're happy, laugh. Don't hold it back. Don't hold it in. Don't dim it. I mean, how many of us have so much tightness in our throat when we're talking or whatever? I know I feel this a lot because we've just suppressed so much that we just like store all of that tension here. And then it goes into our neck and shoulders and everything. It stays in our body. So, and if you're scared, scream. So these are the two lessons to live by, okay? And honestly, live by them. I know this is hard because unless we see it played out in someone, then we're like, oh, that's how I'm supposed to do it. But kind of keep an eye out for these. So don't give an F and definitely just feel your emotions. Like if you're sad, don't hold it back. Let the tears roll down, okay? I know this is hard. It's vulnerable, but do it. It's for your own health. So she says, don't give an F about others. They need to apologize to you, not you needing to apologize to them. And I know I'm talking to you guys who are like super sweet people. And if you do something wrong, like you will apologize to the other person. But a lot of times we are taking on what other people do wrong and start apologizing to them, even though they were the ones who did the thing wrong. Okay. So anyway, so <laughs> she's saying her grandma totally lives by this. She doesn't apologize to like anybody. She's like, if their feelings get hurt, that's their problem. They need to learn how to not get their feelings hurt. So she was saying that her mom had been talking to her grandma and her mom's feelings got hurt. So she was talking to her grandma and saying, grandma, you know, you hurt mom's feelings. Aren't you going to say sorry? And her grandma was like, no, your mom should be saying sorry to me. So see, this is a, this is a totally different mindset, right? Give them a hard time. Give the other people a hard time. Give the other person a hard time. Don't let them give you a hard time. And I know I'm not the best one to listen to this about because I'm still learning how to do this. But, you know, we're all learning and growing. So give them a hard time. You know, give a headache. Don't take a headache. And I know I'm the opposite of this. I take headaches instead of giving headaches. But I'm going to start learning how to do this. And then she said that her grandma does this because others let her. So do the same. You know, just don't care so much about others, you know, as much as you care for and go overboard for them. They should be reciprocating. And since most people aren't deeply caring like you, just care less. Okay? Now, I'm not saying to be cold-hearted and not sweet. I'm just saying this because most of you guys in my community are way too overgiving. I'm just saying to balance it out. So definitely remember those two lessons. And then she said that, you know, her grandma lives by this and we should too, because it obviously works. And so that's how you live past 100 without any medications or problems, just by those two lessons. So definitely drop down in the comments, um, you know, what your takeaways of this. Sorry, I get super self-conscious when there's somebody that can hear. But anyways, definitely drop a comment below what you guys thought. And yeah, definitely like, share this, and subscribe. And if you want to go deeper, then definitely check out my course down below, Divinely Favored, that will walk you through the whole process. And man, I am so self-conscious when people are listening. Um, yeah, and if I also um, offer health coaching. So if you want to take advantage of that, I can help you get on the diet you need to be on and get to. You know, so you're in love with your body and you can do that by checking out the free gift below it's a free worksheet or a free gift and that will give you my email and you can just email me about that if you're interested i would love to work with you and i also have a western shirt course i'm a professional western shirt sewer i sell them and so i decided like why not if any of you guys are sewers and would love to make something for the men in your life because men are so hard to make gifts for right then definitely check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.